Day three of the Scouting Combine with the Madden NFL 19 promo brings you 10 new players. Now, if you guys are really enjoying the Combine promo, that's excellent and stuff like that. I just want to make sure that you guys are, you know, up to date with everything that's going on. Make sure you're doing the daily challenges to get your uh, collectible that you're going to need. You need five of those to be able to get your free Nat 97 overall. What we're going to be doing right now is discussing some of the players that just, you know, that just came out. I'm going to be telling you the ones that are a real W. Um, that you should be going after and then some of the ones that you just like ah whatever if you want them if you don't want them But let's go in you know, let's go through all of that stuff and a little bit more right now All right, so starting off pretty much the Telvin Smith is probably gonna ring a lot of bells the Danielle Hunter um, Luke Keekley, obviously those cards are gonna be at the top of the list um, as far as the way that this is set up, they still have not released all the requirements yet for Chris Johnson. That's fine. Um, but what we're going to be looking at is just, you know, pretty much D line linebacker. All right. So that's, that's what day three is going to entail. And remember, like I told you guys, it's always easier to just go out there and get the players that you want instead of trying to use these sets because EA, I believe purposely makes it like this. So where that you just stop putting in cards that don't mathematically equate to what you're supposed to be getting back. Because once you put all the cards into this, the card that you're going to get, bro, you're done. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's just pretty much what it's all about. So we're going to go through some of the things right now and discuss what I think is some of the best cards. Now, I want you guys to keep in mind, I am a legend chem guy. So with this, with this right here, I've actually used Telvin Smith. So I know he was a good card for a while, especially with his block shedding, bro. I had him for out of my way, like very, very early on. That dude is a savage. So I already know with, with his combine star, it's going to be wild. It's going to be, it's, bro, hey, it's going to be savage action that's going to be going on. But let's go ahead and take a look at it to see if it's going to be worth your time or my time to even review it. Because I haven't even seen any information about the card as of yet. So let's go through it together right now and see what's going on. So we're going to go over to type. Um, obviously we're gonna go linebacker, right? Well, I think that Shaquem Griffin, who's another one of the players, um, is a standout also because they have the combine stars and then they have the combine standouts. Bud Dupree, let's, let's take a look at him. Wait a minute. First, 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 first. Let's go to right outside linebacker. I want to do it in the order that I wanted to do it first. All right. So Shaquem Griffin is there, but we're going to go with Telvin Smith. All right. So look, let's look at it. 554, in all honesty, like looking at the 90 speed, remember this guys, a lot of us at this point already have theme teams. Me personally, I don't care about the theme team. I went legend status, but for the most part, we have ways of upgrading our attributes to our players. Now, this guy right now, the power is going to give him a 91. John Madden coach, bam, 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 plus three, but 94 speed. Plus, if he's on a theme team, he's going to be a 97 speed, I guess. You know what I'm saying, bro? You're going to get the 94 plus the three. Um, it's possible that you guys also have other ways of getting speed at this point, because some of you guys are just savages. Uh, but again, he should go up to a 97 speed. Uh, being chemmed at that position with 97 speed and 95 block shedding, in my opinion, this is why I think he's one of the best cards that's been released to date. If you have a Jaguars theme team and you have John Madden coach and you have Sprinter, you have a 97 speed savage with out of my way chem. Nobody is going to want to deal with that. At, in fact, probably the only other card that's going to be as savage as Telvin Smith with the numbers, is going to be Lawrence Taylor once they give him an ultimate legend. So this guy right here, I would highly recommend for any theme team for the Jaguars. Uh, seriously, like putting him on... You, you could literally run SAG defense or run nickel big over G and send three people. With his speed and block shedding, it's a wrap. I'm just being honest. Bro, it, I don't care who they got back there blocking. Telvin Smith is coming directly in. So overall, I think that this, this card right here in particular is a straight W. All right, let's look at Daniel Hunter. The interesting thing about Daniel Hunter is, like, he's always been about, like, speed, but I'm not sure, you know, how it's going to equate to the way that everything is now. we got to take a look at some of his other stats. So let's go Vic Beasley, Daniel Hunter. All right, so there he goes right there. This boy fast as the hell. Yo, now look, just keep in mind, this dude is a left end, bruh. When you cam him up, right? He's going to be similar to like Curse. He's going to go 90, 93. You got a Vikings theme team. He's 96 on your D line, bruh. He's a 96 speed with, with bruh. Once you chem him up with block shedding, it's a wraparoni with cheese with your mom's on the side. Like this is just outrageous. And you know what's fascinating about this guy? I didn't even realize that EA was giving him such high of power moves as well. Because like I always knew about his finesse in the block shed, but getting his power move to a 91... What happens is you're going to see a lot of animations that like Lawrence Taylor gets where he like physically throws the lineman to the ground. 
that power move, like whole scenario with the trio, yo, GGs. You got a Vikings, bro. You got a Viking squad, GGs, dog. Like, I, I don't, I don't know what to say about these. Like, pretty much, I'm sorry about these. Like, I'm Jackie Chan in Rush Hour. Like, this dude's speed and with the, the culmination of block shedding is unheard of. It's just honestly unheard of. Like, I, I don't know what to say about it. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, we'll go back to Vic Beasley in a second. Um, everybody's buying them up. We could probably go see what's going on with this one over here so we can already take care of it. See, same thing with him. But he doesn't have a power-up, right? Yeah, he don't got a power-up, though. So you can't really get jiggy with him. You know what I'm saying? You can't really get jiggy, but, you know, theme team status, adding that plus three, uh, he should be able to get a physical chem. Let me double-check that. Vic Beasley. I'm going to check right now let you guys know if he should be able to get a physical chem. He's a 92. All right, he gets no physical chem, so he's a, he's an L. This dude's a straight L right here. All right, so don't, I wouldn't worry about Vic Beasley too much. There's really nothing to talk about. Let's go over to uh, Keekly and figure out what's going on with that. So Keekly, we already know Keekly has always been a stud. Uh, the 88, you know, he moves around side to side very, very fast. The bigger thing is the block shedding. Having him with out of my way, his zone coverage is very high. He's a coverage linebacker that if you blitz is getting the out of my way animations. So he's pretty much a glitch because when you look at the fact that you can't really play defense in this game, Having linebackers with more zone coverage is going to probably help you in those cases um, more than not. So it's good to have it. I don't think with the way that the game is playing right now that it matters if he has that high of a zone. Because right now with the high pass, I just got mossed and I think that I'm on Mars right now. Like dudes mossed my eyeballs out the socket. So I don't think he'll be able to stop anything because they've made pretty much the short pass. If dudes come out high passing you with the short pass now, you're getting mossed and you're going to deal with it. You might cry in your, you might, you know, you might cry in the closet or whatever, but you're gonna come right back and play the game the same way I am. But it is what it is. I just want to make sure that everybody's aware of it. The aggressive catch is very, very OP. So even with his high zone coverage, if he's not jumping around, if he's not jumping a route underneath, he's going to get mossed. It's just point blank and period. I gotta, just, you know, kick the facts. Um, Brandon Williams, he's a D tackle. Let's go check him out. And these are the um, the combine stars. You know what I'm saying? Like the 97 overalls, because they're gonna release a different amount each time. Um, so this guy is supposed to, like he is extra fat. He's ready to go, but he has a 98 strength, with emo which in most cases is a huge factor. I don't know why they gave him such a you know low speed. They could have given him like a 70. If he has a 70 with 98 strength, 98 block shedding, I would tell you go after it. The 64 speed bothers me unless you're a blitzing person, because Michael Vick is gonna have his way with you and your moms. So you're going to want to make sure that that's taken care of, all right? So pretty much what's happening with Brandon Williams is this. He's very, very slow, but he has some high points that you can utilize because, like I said, strength is definitely a factor in this game. So if you you know what he reminds me of? The dude uh, Snacks, like Snacks Harrison. Those guys are run stoppers, but if you have a guy that runs outside the pocket every snap, your D tackle being that slow is going to heavily affect your chances of making that play. So I want to just make sure you guys are aware of that. Uh, it's not going to work out well for you if you have a guy with Michael Vick that's running like he just escaped prison. It's not going to work out. And um, you got Vic Beasley Jr. You got Bud Dupree. Let's go check out. But what, what's Bud Dupree's position? Is he a right outside linebacker too? Where's he at? We got Shaquem and Talvin. So what is Bud Dupree? I got to I got to find Bud Dupree. Left outside linebacker is what he was. That's what we looked at first. Okay, there he goes. Bud Dupree. All right. So look, the glitchy thing about him. He doesn't have a power-up, right? Yeah, I don't see the power-up symbol. The glitchy thing about him, though, his 6'4", I don't know if you guys remember when he was like, he was another guy that we would use her back in the day, even when Anthony Barr was popping. Bud Dupree was always popping. This dude's a savage. But in overall, he's not really that good of a card because of the lack of uh, power-up and being able to, you know, up that block shedding because block shedding is so huge on the defensive side of the ball. So for me, he would serve no purpose. But having an 89 speed, if you wanted to use him, say, in a um, you know salary cap team, something like that, I could understand that. But having him on your regular team with no with no physical chem and stuff like that, I don't know about that. I would go ahead and pass on, on Bud Dupree. Darren Lee, isn't he a middle linebacker, I believe? I think he's a middle linebacker. Is he? Okay, what okay, maybe he's not. What is Darren? No, Darren Lee is like a safety or something, right? I don't, bro. I don't know what he is. Like, I gotta figure this out. Like, what, what, what is Darren Lee, bro? I don't remember what he was. Oh, he's a middle linebacker. Oh, he is a middle linebacker. That's what I thought he was. All right, so there's none available with him. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just tell you right quick, fast, in a hurry. 89 speed, 90 excel, 92 pursuit, 92 hit power, 78 block shed. 
that ain't gonna work for us, dog. Like that's gonna be a no for me, dog. Like he, you can't you can't run around doing that with me. Uh, Harrison Phillips, uh, this dude is a D tackle as well. But did we see him when we were just looking at that or no? Did we see uh, yeah Harrison Phillips? All right, so you can see by his price that he's garbage. You know, there's really nothing you can really do about it. Um, he doesn't have a power up and he doesn't have 90 block shedding, so he's useless pretty much. Like it it doesn't really work out. It doesn't really work out for us. You got Carl Lawson, uh, right end, 88 overall, 84 speed, 73 block shed. We're not even worried about that. But what I wanted to show you ultimately is what we started off with um, earlier. Um, the fact that this guy right here is so cheap, he would be a great user in, on a salary cap team. The 93 speed and 6-1, you know, like this dude, like it, it'll be really, really wild to get this guy as a user. Other than that, he really serves no purpose on anybody's team. If you're not using this card or blitzing him off the edge for his speed, he primarily serves no purpose. And another thing, like that 80 block shed and all that stuff, earlier in the year when the, when, the, when the game first started, he was the dude I blitzed off the edge out of my 4-3 over when I used to run it. Um, since then, he's been kind of, you know, ah, ah, because the game has changed. The patches have made the game a little bit wild. So without the block shedding and having out of my way, it pretty much renders it useless to have this card. But speed-wise, I think he would be an ultimately ridiculous user, bro. Like, straight up crazy. But I wouldn't put him on my team for regular mutt head-to-head. -head. This has been day three of the Combine Madden 19 promo. Let me know if you have any additional questions or comments. You know what to do. Leave it in the chat. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.